17 p.m. tonight, we had several vehicles traveling eastbound on Flamingo. Officers were uh, at the Maxim Hotel investigating a stolen vehicle when they heard several gunshots being fired down below. They saw a caravan of about five cars that were traveling eastbound, heard the shots again, approximately 12 to 13 shots were fired. The officers saw the black BMW followed by a black BMW station wagon and three other cars make a U-turn on Flamingo near the Maxim Hotel. They made a U-turn seated westbound, uh, coming onto Las Vegas Boulevard where they were driving very erratically. They radioed that they uh, heard the gunfire and saw these vehicles traveling in such an erratic fashion. Other officers who were working the uh, strip area were able to get the vehicles stopped here, as you see. The black BMW were, was traveling on the rims on the right side. Once they got here, they found that the passenger in the black BMW had been shot four times, and the driver appeared to be hit with fragments in the head area. At this time, the wounds are life-threatening, but serious, not, not in, in critical condition at this time. And the uh, person, as you are already aware, who was the passenger in this vehicle is a known uh, rap performer by the name of Tupac Shakir. The driver, we uh, haven't released his name yet. They've both been treated at University Medical Center. And we are looking for a suspect vehicle, which was described as a white or, or off-white Cadillac, new model Cadillac. That's all we have on it right now. We know that the suspect's described as uh, one, possibly two black males that was in that vehicle. Um, again, this is, uh, uh, unfortunate situation. We're lucky that uh, no one else was hurt. It doesn't appear to be any other injuries to any other citizens. Uh, as you know, this is very busy with a lot of pedestrian traffic. Didn't appear that uh, anyone was hit. So we're very fortunate for that. Uh, just happened to have officers in the spot, right spot at the right time. We're able to radio ahead. And we we're fortunate to, to have this caravan of cars stop before any other uh, incidents took place. Did I hear correctly that the flight for Mike was running? Uh, I was not told of black flag about it. Yeah, I will double check that. Yeah, I'll double check that for you. Any ideas on the cause of why this office came about? We, we haven't been able to get any uh, reasons for this having taken place. I don't want to speculate. Uh, that is part of what we're doing. We're interviewing. Uh, homicide detectives are very busy right now, as well as our general assignment detectives. It's been a lot of work done by patrol officers to cordon off this scene and pouring off the scene on Flamingo. So right now, as you'll see, a lot of things are taking place. We have our crime scene analyst who's gathering evidence. You see the bullet hole uh, in the windshield and in the door of the car. And uh, this, again, ha has been a very unfortunate night for this to occur on the Las Vegas Strip. Any indication whether people in the black car were firing back? We have no reports of any uh, firearms being fired from either car. We haven't found any firearms. And, uh, in this car, the uh, continental has uh, looked it over well, and we haven't found it. So it, right now, it appears that the gunshots were fired from the suspect vehicle only, again, which is described as a white or light-colored uh, newer Cadillac. Um, caliber of weapon used, can you guess here? Uh, looking at the bullet holes, it doesn't appear to be a 22 or 25. It looks to be a little larger than that. Uh, uh, I'll. Uh, say that our homicide detectives during their investigation, they're quite busy now, during their investigation they'll be helping to determine that along with our crime scene evidence. A uh, number of uh, cars also hit over near the Maxim? Right now at the Maxim, I'm not sure how many cars were hit that were in the parking lot, but I understand there's you know, maybe one or two that were hit. Uh, again, we're fortunate there that no one was hit as well, and uh, we're going to try to get to the bottom of this real soon. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, you were saying before when you first walked up, it was like the wild, wild west down here. This is just crazy. It's crazy for people to, to be so disrespectful of other people and, and to try to solve their problems on the streets of Las Vegas or the streets of anywhere else. 
it's not the way to solve any conflict anyway. And for this to just be such blatant disregard and so brazen, we're, we're going to continue this investigation. Hopefully, we'll come up with something that makes some sense of this unfortunate incident. I'll be right back. I'm going to go find out about that. down. 